Over the years, I've been lucky enough to travel the world. And during my time on the cruise ships, there's one place that became my home away from home. Florida. But I know I've barely scratched the surface of this top holiday destination. Oh, look at this. Just amazing. So this time, I'm hitting the highway. I've got my sat-nav checked. I've got my music and I'm off. And I'd like you to join me on the road trip of a lifetime. Who needs a Ferrari when you've got one of these? So uncover the wonders of the Sunshine State. <laughs> Thank you for letting me blow your conch here. I'll be exploring the beautiful backwaters. Actually, we're going faster without me paddling. <laughs> Getting acquainted with the locals. Enjoy what you're doing and have a smile. You'll be happy. It's the best thing I've heard today, that. Mind you, it's only 10 to 10. <laughs> Marvelling at the wildlife. Oh, there's Mickey Mouse, there's Mickey Mouse. And going to extreme lengths to get a good view. I feel like Top Gun. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. With fantastic food. How is your oyster? That is a firecracker. And even better company. Come holiday with me. Cheers. Welcome to Florida. Hello again from Florida, where my ultimate road trip round the Sunshine State is taking me east to the Golden Coast. And this time... I'm here! I'm in Fort Lauderdale! I take to the skies for a unique experience offering unrivaled views of the world's most famous space centre. Fabulous! <laughs> Set sail to see how the other half live along the magnificent millionaire mansion waterway. That's probably about six or seven million. Oh! Yeah. Swap four wheels for three as I hit the road to enjoy a very special way of exploring the city. I love it! <laughs> and took into fantastic food at an exclusive Riverside restaurant with fab friends. Yorkshire has got my heart, but this has got my liver. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Let's dive in together to discover everything this super state has to offer. It's a fond farewell to Orlando, so I'm spending my last morning here in style. Relaxing by the pool and planning the next leg of my Florida road trip. Isn't it fabulous to be away and in the sunshine among palm trees and pools and beaches? And although I'm sad to leave Orlando, I'm looking forward to continuing with my amazing road trip. As you know, I love a guidebook. They never run out of charge. I'm planning to head down the east coast to Fort Lauderdale. It's a place that has my heart as I worked on the cruise ships there back in the 90s. Right, according to this, I have to hit the 528 expressway. The what? Oh, oh, they mean the motorway. But first, I need to grab my bags. Right, all packed up, ready to go again. But I always carry a day bag as well because you never know where you might stop off. Because if you see a nice beach, stop off and go for a swim. That's what it's all about doing a road trip. Right, onwards. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Composed. Right. Okay, onwards. So it's hand over my room keys and grab my car keys to hit the road in this beast of a 4x4. Four four. A step up from my trusty Viva, eh? Right, let's hit the road. So, it's goodbye Orlando as we head south to Fort Lauderdale. And who knows what in between. Now this feels like an American road trip, driving in the idyllic sunshine with fabulous views of skyscrapers and the open road, only just about beats the M62. 
Let's get some music on. And like all great road trips, you need a cracking playlist to sing along to. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh. Walking on sunshine in the sunshine state is spot on. Shane Miller exams. It's funny how you think you know the song until you start singing it. <laughs> Fantastic beaches are what Florida is known for, with 825 miles of glittering white sands for you to enjoy. And en route to Fort Lauderdale, I think I'm going to stop off for a cuppa at the nearest one on the east coast, Cocoa Beach. The guidebook says it's a must-see, and you know me, I must see the sea. It's just over an hour's drive from Orlando to Cocoa Beach. And look at this sea! It's fantastic! And before you know it, I've arrived. All I have to do now is park up and then I'm ready to rock and roll. Surf's always up at Cocoa Beach, but you don't have to be a boarder to enjoy it. Lots of sun worshippers come for the six miles of golden sands. And they're in good company. USA Today voted it the best beach of Florida's space coast. Oh, I love the sea. Look at this, look at this. I love a beach day. Oh, this will do. I love the beach because that beautiful sea breeze is heaven. Everybody deserves a down day. And I've been really, really busy on the last few days. I've been swimming with manatees. Let's be honest, I've dated worse. And... <laughs> sorry. Sorry, it's two. And I've been kayaking. And I must admit, the following day, I thought I'd been hit by a bus. I, I couldn't move for it. So I deserve this little rest. And I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, yes. I could sit and watch people all day, me. I'm a right people watcher, I love it. Cup of coffee, sat. My day is complete. Oh, talking of a cuppa. Time for a beverage. Is it this way? And the best way to do that is from the amazing boardwalk, stretching 800 foot out into the Atlantic Ocean and filled with boutiques, bars and restaurants. This is perfect. Oh. Have you seen how the birds surf over there? It's like they're surfing. I do love a pier. You're above the water, you've still got the lovely sea breeze and you can get a drink. And you do that with a bit of high-tech malarkey. Touch-free menus. OK. How do you do it? <laughs> do you go into your camera? I presume. Right, and then you go like that. Is that right? CocoBeachPier.com. Look at that. I think it's not a bad idea. Get off the cocktails, Jane. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, my name's Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Want to get something to drink? Just a tea? Have you got an English breakfast tea? Yeah, maybe a hot tea. Yeah, hot tea would be great. We have pokey nachos. Right, Fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. Pokey nachos. No idea what the pokey bit is. And my tea's a bit of a surprise. That's a cold tea. <laughs> It's very refreshing. So what makes these nachos so pokey then? Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. I think that's more tuna. Well, the Tinterweb says pork is diced raw fish, native Hawaiian style. I prefer poking at battered cod, Wakefield style. But this ain't half bad. I've never had raw tuna before. Wow, well, that's spicy. I don't think I've ever had this in Wakefield, raw tuna on crisps. But you never know, it might take off. 
Very nice. Ah, uh, it don't get any better than this. Having lovely food on the boardwalk, watching the world surf by. It feels wonderful. Right, we're off. Now I'm ready to hit the road again. Onward. I want to be in Fort Lauderdale by the end of the day. Though I can't leave without taking you to one of the world's top tourist attractions. It's literally out of this world. But first, a confession. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't normally watch the news because I find it really depressing. But this morning, I actually put it on and I saw Artemis, the rocket, and I thought, that's Cape Canaveral, which is here. After Disney, Kennedy Space Center is the next most popular attraction in Florida. It was from here that Neil Armstrong, in 1969, took a giant leap for mankind and became the first man to walk on the moon. It's been 50 years since we last visited, but all that's about to change, thanks to NASA's Artemis Mega Rocket. And in my guidebook, I've discovered a rather appealing way of seeing it. So, I thought, why not book a helicopter ride and go and have a look? The thing is, this is history. So this is something I cannot miss. So I mean, this doesn't happen every day. Seize the moments, that's what I say. This is just one of many helicopter companies that offer airborne tours of the Space Coast. I feel like Top Gun. Okay. Have you done this before? Oh yeah, uh, I do these pretty regularly. Uh, this is one of my favorite tours. Yeah. We're going to be going up into NASA today. Oh! It's like a big wasp. My pilot for this trip of a lifetime is Vance. And I hope to goodness he knows how to handle a chopper. We'll go up Merritt Island by the Kennedy Space Center. We're going to see that Artemis 1 that's out on the launch pad oh, right the now. the one on the news? That's right, that's right. Largest rocket ever built. Okay. All right, then I'm going to strap you Ooh. in. Right. Just about now, the butterflies kick in. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, how have I managed to be doing this? Ooh. Clear. But as the ground disappears, so do my nerves. Brilliant! Helicopter off out of board at the observation tower. Gonna be uh, This is amazing. How lucky am I? A truly once in a lifetime experience. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you're appreciating it. Oh, I love this. Fabulous, isn't it? Coming up, all systems go, as I enjoy more out-of-this-world excitement with Vance. There she is, okay. in all her glory, the Artemis One. Wow, this is amazing. Get million-dollar views of iconic waterways with an old friend. Wow. Lovely to see ya! And get the adrenaline pumping with a sensational city tour. Brilliant, I love it. <laughs> I'm loving taking you with me on this once-in-a-lifetime holiday. Road tripping down Florida's Golden Coast. But I've ditched my wheels and taken to the skies, as my trusty guidebook says taking a helicopter tour of the Space Coast is a unique and must-do experience. And I get a bird's-eye view of NASA's newest rocket with my very own Top Gun pilot, Vance. Out here to our right, you can clearly see uh, Cape Canaveral. Make a call real quick to NASA. Okay. NASA Tower, look at that, four one out of Kilo. Bye, Eck. I never thought I'd have a hotline to a space agency. 
NASA's Kennedy Space Center is one of the most famous space organizations on the planet. As the world's first ever moon landing was launched from here with astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. It's incredible. They're busy bringing their starship out here, which is going to go to Mars. You'll be able to be a passenger going up in a rocket. Yeah, if you got enough money, I suppose. Yeah. I won't be a passenger. No. At this rate, it won't be long before you're holidaying with Jane in space. There it is, there she is, in all her glory, the Artemis One. Apologies, it's so breathtaking, I need to take a pic from my friends in Wakey. Wow, this is amazing. Standing 322 feet tall out there. Oh. It's the largest rocket ever built, uh, launching in hopefully June. Uh, they're going to circle the moon. Talk about fly me to the moon, but it don't stop at flying. NASA's big plan for the Artemis missions is to land man on the moon again by 2025. Eh that's only a few years away. Uh, pretty exciting times around here. I love sharing the space industry uh, yeah. with people. This is the apex of modern man and technology. And I love sharing it with you too, Vance. Millions of space buffs visit the Space Center on foot every year. So if you'd rather keep your feet on the ground, it's dead easy to book day trips online. I live in a high-rise that uh, faces here, yeah. so I can sit on my porch and drink a beer and watch a rocket launch from my uh, patio. Oh, that's also, cool. yeah, Party it's awesome. at your house. Sorry? Party at your house. Yeah, that's right. Good. You're right. welcome. <laughs> you really can see for miles up here, and it's not all spacey stuff. You get to appreciate Mother Nature in all her glory, too. Wow, this is amazing. That's the uh, river drain right there. Uh-huh. Uh, in case it gets too full here, they just drain some of the water. That's great. I'm just kidding, Jane. You can't <laughs> drain a river. Don't I believe everything okay. you tell me. I do like a man who can have a laugh. My guide knows how to make a single traveller feel welcome, and I've learned so much from Vance. Although, I've got one more very important question. Are you married? I tried that three times. <laughs> Does that know? <laughs> Not right now. I'm a hopeless romantic, though, so oh, you know, I never you. say never. You're a heartbreaker, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> You know me, space exploration's fascinating, but I do love exploring people's lives too. Oh, that was incredible. After an unforgettable tour, Starship Jane lands safely. Thanks, fans. Not bad for uh, my third week of flying, huh? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, after that trip, like an astronaut, I'm floating. What a lovely guy. I wonder if he's looking for Mrs. Vance number four. <laughs> oh my God, that was incredible! And I've just seen the rocket. And he's single. That's got me all revved up, I can tell you. Revved up to hit the road again. What were you thinking? Let's do this, mother. Next stop, Fort Lauderdale, and I feel like singing my heart out. For once I can sing, this is mine, you can take it, as long as I know I have love I can make it, for once in my life, I have someone who needs me. It's 194 miles from Port Canaveral to Fort Lauderdale. The quickest route, or route, as they say over here, is straight down the coast on the Florida Turnpike. And in just under three hours, I've made it. I'm here! I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is one of my all-time favourite places in Florida, for so many reasons. First, it's the third busiest cruise ship port on Earth, so I've docked and rolled here many a time. Palm trees blowing in the wind. Beautiful balmy weather. Ocean right in front of you. Golden sands for miles. 
It's gorgeous, a vibrant waterfront playground with a four-mile stretch of dazzling beach and 165 miles of winding canals and waterways. No wonder it's nicknamed the Venice of America. Now, where's my hotel? I think it's this way. Yeah, that's it. I've arrived. I've picked a hotel overlooking Fort Lauderdale's fabulous beach. Get me. There we are. Look at this. Valley parking. Mm -hmm. Oh, being directed. The Conrad's one of Fort Lauderdale's newest hotels with 24 floors and 290 suites. Yep, size does matter. Now, to be honest, that seafront view doesn't come cheap, but there are hotels here for every budget. Oh, Ooh, look at this. Got my own kitchen. I've got a kettle. Whoa, yes, I've got a kettle and I've got a toaster and I've got an ocean view. Oh, wow, look at this. It feels so good to be back here in Fort Lauderdale. I've got great memories here. I used to dock every single week when I was working on the cruise ship, so I got to know Fort Lauderdale quite well. And then when I met Henrik all those years ago, he had a house here, so I stayed here quite a lot. I've got some great friends who still live here, so I'm hoping to meet up with them as well. Maybe I'll invite them to come and hang out on one of my two balconies. Oh, look at this. Outside dining, drink on a night. And the wonderful thing about this room is I've got the ocean at that side. And then just over there, behind the hotel, is all the waterways. That's the Venice of America right there. This is going to be fabulous. And I'm kicking things off by hitting that beach for a walk in the sunshine. A quick outfit change, a skip across the boulevard, and I've already got the sand between my toes. It's the perfect way to boost my step counts and breathe in that sea air after that long drive. And what a beach it is. And the good news, it's public, so everyone can enjoy some toe-dipping time here. I think you really know you're on your holidays when your feet are in the sea. Your bunions are bouncing with joy. The hard skin you've got from graft is slowly being scuffed away by the sand. It's belting. But as the tide goes out and the sun goes down, evening means just one thing in the McDonald holiday playbook. So I'm off to the hotel pool to find it. <sighs> A perfect end to a perfect day, but there's just one little thing missing. What could it be that would make my day perfect? And here he is. Uh, sorry, it is. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure, enjoy. Cheers, thank Cheers. you. Now my day is complete. And the McDonald's verdict? Oh, that's lovely. That's the perfect end to my perfect afternoon in Fort Lauderdale. But after a day on the road, this Yorkshire lass needs a bed, because tomorrow is going to be jam-packed too. Coming up... Cheers. Cheers. I venture onto the waterways the world calls the Venice of America. Let me have a yacht and a house here. Yeah! Got a dream. You've got to dream. Discover a unique and exhilarating way to whiz around the city. This is great! <laughs> and I spice up my life at one of the city's waterfront restaurants. This is hot, 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 hot. It's another glorious morning in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 
and today is looking to be a busy one. But first, a Yorkshire girl has her needs. Oh, I'm home now. Got my own mug. Let's see who's on the phone. Oh, it's Amanda! A little birdie tells me you're in Fort Lauderdale. I'd love to see you for a catch-up, Amanda. Oh, that's brilliant. Me and Amanda know each other from our cruise ship days. She moved here with her hubby Russell and three boys ten years ago and hasn't looked back. Hi, lovely. Can't wait to see you. Uh, let's get together. And after a quick change, I'm off to meet me old pal to rediscover the 165 miles of waterways that give this beautiful city its Venice of America nickname. Hello! And lucky me, we're travelling in style. Oh my You're God! Here. At Latvia! So nice to see you, thank you so much. Wow, how are you? Can I come Up aboard? aboard. Oh, lovely to see you! Hi. How are you, darling? Well, I'm good, how Russell, are you? Nice to see you, oh, hey up. Your legs won't go that far. Hang on. Right. Yeah, grand. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us oh, for the day. We're going to have such for fun. Me. Pleasure, and we've got the perfect weather for it. It's got. I might take my coat off. I think now. you should. Yeah. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite houses. I can't wait. Lucky me getting the insider's guide from my pals. But if they weren't here, I'd turn to my guidebook. It doesn't matter how many times you visit, cities change, and the guidebook's a great way to keep up to date. Now, back to gawping at the mind-blowing mansions on what the locals call Millionaire's Row. How much do you think that would run at? That's probably about six or seven million. Oh, yeah. Being on the intercoastal is, is a real premium. Gosh, it's the premium waterway across from the beach, west of the beach. Yeah. Waterfront property is such a hot topic here that a favourite pastime of the locals is knowing everything about the super rich and their luxury homes. We need to talk about this house over here on the left. Oh my. So this is all goodness. one house, from the orange house all the way to the end is one wow. house. An arc at this. It were up for sale in 2019 for over 20 million quid. This is the perfect size, little pocket cottage. We could go and ask them if they want to put it up for sale. Yeah, that's it. Excuse me, <laughs> do you want to sell? It's never going to happen, is it? But you've got to dream. You've got to dream. And this is what I'm doing. I'm dreaming. I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there to the universe. Let me have a yacht and a house here. Yeah! Go on. <laughs> Keep dreaming, McDonald. If you'd like to tour these fab waterways but aren't lucky enough to know anyone with a boat, fear not. There are lots of boat tours on offer, from paddle steamers to, well, whatever this is. Sorry. That's great. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and even gondolas. America's Venice Sea. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Man, he's not pulling it, is he? He's not, not in no. the old I think it's got an engine. It's definitely got an engine, <laughs> that one. Oh, the cheating. I have had the best day. Thank you so much to both of you. It's been so lovely. Oh, yeah. It's our pleasure. And well, maybe we can catch dinner before you go. Oh, that'd be great. Let's see if we can do that, would be really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> It's been amazing seeing the city from the water, but I'm hankering to explore more on land, so let's nip back to my hotel for a quick change. I've got another adventure I'm dying to take you on, and we only need to pack light for this. Get that in there, and I think that's it. Walking ain't an option to have a proper nosy round this millionaire's playground. Voila. Everywhere's just a bit too far to get to on foot. And holidays are the perfect opportunity to do those things you'd never do at home. But you know me, I like to be different. No, that's not very McDonald. But this is my kind of convertible. Yeah. A small green, 
part bike, part car, that puts you inches off the ground. <laughs> Such an elegant way to get it. Oh, I think I might tie my hair back as well because it's a bit windy. Designed like a super go-kart and great for all ages. And you can rent them by the hour, week or anywhere in between. There's only one way to travel round Fort Lauderdale and it's not in a flash motor. It's in one of these. Right. Let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. But after a quick tutorial. You, go. you what? It's pedal to the metal. Let's do this. See you later. Woohoo! Lots of travel sites recommend this fun, must-do experience when you come to Fort Lauderdale. This is great! Woohoo! Claire's up at Weir Air. <laughs> With the wind in my hair, it's great exploring this sun-kissed city in my crazy coupe. Brilliant, I love it. <laughs> Hello, Fort Lauderdale! 20 and 30 kilometres. So they're quite nippy, aren't they? Woo! I feel quite safe in this as well. And I think people are quite aware of you on the road because they can't believe that somebody's actually driving it. <laughs> it's just a great way to travel. You don't have to really think about it. You just rev that and off you go. I don't like too many things to think about. Hey up. These three wheel gas powered scoops are dead simple to drive, but there's just one problem the undercarriage, as it were. That's the only thing. If the bad roads, then I'll hurt your bum. Hi! The good thing about these is that everybody talks to you. Hi! I should buy one of these to get around Wakefield. Who needs a Ferrari when you've got one of these? I think it's a bit of a babe magnet, personally. Look at this, palm trees, blue skies, the sea's on me right. This route's got it all, from the sandy shores of Fort Lauderdale Beach to this amazing promenade, teeming with restaurants, bars and luxury hotels. Fort Lauderdale, to me, is just beautiful. It was always lovely before, but it's, it's very glamorous now. Weather's not bad either. Getting around on the posh equivalent of a Dodgem's one option, but you can also hire bikes, scooters, or for the very brave and balanced, you can rock some rollerblades. I'll pass. Ta. The smells are fantastic. All the restaurants are obviously getting ready for lunch, but I'll settle for an ice cream right now. In fact, that's given me an idea. Time for a pit stop. <laughs> Needs a flick. Coming up, I take a taxi, Florida style. Just heard it's happy hour. And get a taste of five star Florida fine dining. That is a firecracker. That is a firecracker. It's nearly time to say farewell, fabulous Fort Lauderdale. But I'm having a blast getting to know my favourite sandy city again. I'm loving this. The Venice of America does not disappoint, and there's still more for me to get reacquainted with. So after a quick change into my glad rags, I'm off out again. I can't believe it's my last night already. Fort Lauderdale is just magical. I love it here. I always have loved it here, and I love it even more every time I come back. But tonight is my last night. So I'm going to meet my mate Amanda, and we're going to a snazzy, fabulous restaurant. What a perfect end. The restaurant is four miles north of my hotel, and slap bang on the intercoastal waterway. So I'm getting a taxi, Fort Lauderdale style. That's right, a water taxi. Beats calling a minicab, doesn't it? The water taxi 
to get yourself around in Fort Lauderdale is the best thing ever. If you get a pass for the day, you can go on as much as you want or as little as you want. These boats run every day of the week from 10 till 10, leaving every 35 to 45 minutes. And just my luck, here's one pulling up. Oh, and hello, sailor. There are 11 stops along this picturesque intercoastal route, connecting you to all the city hotspots, the beach, shops and restaurants. Perfect. In there. What's going on, everybody? Oh, really good. How oh, are you, boy, George? Thank you. No sooner have we set sail than I spy an unusual extra. There's a bar. <laughs> but it's the top deck for me where I can soak up this beautiful balmy evening. This is usually where the party starts, and you can't do that in a cab, can you? It's not a bad gig, is it? A lot of people buy the pass, come on here in the morning and drink all day, and then get off at 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's a good old session, if you ask me. It's a damn sight cheaper than chartering a yacht, too. Just heard it's happy hour. You don't have to tell me twice. Hi. What can I get for you? I'm gonna have a, a sort of pina colada, but my own. So I'm gonna have a shot of dark rum. Dark rum. Yeah, a shot of Malibu and a pineapple juice. There you go. That's it. Marvelous. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. All the best. I'm about to get a job here. <laughs> that is absolutely. Fantastic! One sip later, mm. and we're here, but that drink's going nowhere. Well, I've got to go. This is my stop. Second big drink. Thank you. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. See you, George. Bye. Thank you. Bye. My friend Amanda has chosen our dining experience tonight. But I do happen to know from my trusty guidebook, it's a waterfront restaurant with a reputation for its spicy twist on Florida's seafood. So it looks like I'm in for a fab night with cracking conversation. What a beautiful spot Please this is. I'm Kathy. 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 Really <laughs> pleased to meet you. And look, what a lovely day we've got for oh, it. It's perfect, perfect evening. evening. Absolutely perfect. I might just even take this off. You can't beat a bit of al fresco dining on a warm sunny evening, so if you're lucky enough to come here, book ahead and ask for a terrace table. And let me tell you, there's not many chippies back home where you can watch super yachts with your fish supper. Right, enough of the vistas, what's on the menu? Well there's oysters, sometimes you've just got to have oysters, um, there's clams, jumbo shrimp, crispy octopus. Yellowtail snapper, uh, tuna poke. It's funny, isn't it? Raw fish to me, I was like, if it's not covered in batter and comes with chips, I'm not <laughs> having it, you know. We need help choosing what to buy. So if in doubt, ask the waiter. Look at these. If you just want to get a little taste of our restaurant, I think the firecracker oysters, maybe the crab cake. That sounds good. Okay, yeah. go for yeah. it. Ladies, I do have your appetizers. Wow. These are the appetizers? Enjoy your appetizers. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm going in for this. How do you eat this? How do you eat it? Do you have to put all that in your mouth? I'll do it like a lady. 
How is your oyster? That is a firecracker. That is a firecracker. It's got some spice in that. This is hot, 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 hot. I must admit, you couldn't yeah. live in a better place, really, no, could you? It's really beautiful. We're very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Apart from Yorkshire, obviously. Of course. Yorkshire has got my heart. But this is secondly. This has yeah. got my liver. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, <laughs> oh. we have your entrees. Thank you. Sure to enjoy. We so certainly will. Yeah. I haven't even got to the fish yet. Mm. On the grab. You've got meaty piece of fish grouper and then this sweet crab topping which is toasted with a little bit of cheese and what a way to have my last day in Fort Lauderdale. Cheers girls. Cheers. 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 Oh thank you. Cheers. Do you know my heart is here. I, I don't want to leave Fort Lauderdale. It's brought back so many amazing memories here. Seeing my old friends, it's amazing. And don't forget, memories never die. And friends are always your friends. That was the perfect end to a fun-filled, friend-filled day. Well, sadly, that's almost it for Fort Lauderdale. Time flies when you're having fun, and boy, did it fly here. There we go. If you're a water baby like me, make a beeline for this place. You won't be disappointed. It's almost time to hit the road, but you know me, I can't leave without dedicating a song to this wonderful city. It's Make Your Own Kind of Music by Mama Cass Elliot. Nobody can tell you There's only one song worth singing They may try and sell you Cause it hangs them up To see someone like you time, come and join me as I take it low and slow in the sun-baked Florida Keys. The drive down to the Keys is really quite spectacular. We'll take to the sky. <laughs> it's amazing! This is just amazing! Make sweet music Florida style. And I'll show you the keys to happiness. Oh, that's lovely. Just the sea lapping on my tuxes. 